Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Sam and my plants. I am really excited to film this video. I have my coffee. I'm surrounded by my favorite plants that I just love so much. I'm actually excited to sit down, sip my coffee, and show them off to you guys and tell you all about them. This is going to be like a plant update. I have a lot of plants I'm going to be sharing. I do have a lot of plants. I'm going to try to like get through them. I do have a lot of plants to show you. It's basically an update on plants that also happen to be my favorite right now. Not sure what I'll title the video. Something in those lines though. Okay, let's just get right into it and go. I'm just going to jump right on in. These are plants that have really been just kind of popping off with their growth. They've been doing really well. This beautiful plant uh, is my Aglionema, what is it, Ice Frost or Frosted Queen um, variegated. So she is a variegated Aglionema uh, and she has this spectacular white variegation on the leaves. Um, there's a little baby plantlet down here as well, but it doesn't really seem to be variegated. I mean, I can't really tell. I don't see much on it, which brings me to my next point. After I had gotten it, it was growing and putting out leaves, but all of them were like this, which is still beautiful, but they're green. There was not a speck of variegation on the leaves it was giving me, and it was living in my kitchen window. So after about four to six weeks of growing it and it giving me all green leaves, I moved it to my Ikea cabinet, and immediately the next leaf that it pushed out which I'm not even sure at this point which one, maybe this one, had variegation on it. And it's been growing so fast, you guys, ever since. And all the leaves have this lovely white variegation on them. Um, you can see on the new leaf that's popped up right there, a good bit of white already. The baby, I don't know, I feel like I see a couple of specks of white on this newest leaf, but it doesn't appear to really be variegated, but that's fine. I got the mother plant variegation to come back in for me so i'm thrilled aglionema are just fantastic plants in general and so i've really been there's several varieties of them that have really caught my attention lately i've been bringing into my collection if you've seen my recent unboxing so love it this hoya and this precious little swinging planter is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I got this planter at Euphorbia. Had to have it. Could not leave it behind. And I just think this plant is perfection in this little pot. This is my Hoya Bilobata, okay? And this one is very near and dear to me because this is a piece of Sarah's plant that she had sent me just because in another package that she had sent me, like a care package type ordeal. And yeah, she has... A ton of this so she sent me it was already rooted and I had one that had it just it looked different which there's different types it didn't have these large and chunky of leaves like this one does so I it instantly became my favorite for both of those reasons I put it in this planter recently it's been a couple months I guess and I think it looks fantastic like yes girl I mean, every time I walk in here, this one catches my eye. I'm just like, oh, so pretty. So this one is definitely a favorite. And it's also growing really well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these little tiny baby, baby leaves coming in. And then there's more down here. There's just like little leaves coming in on all the vines. So love her. Okay, this is a philodendron. This is um, my philodendron campii that I had to restart I don't know, a year or so ago. I repotted it, it freaked out, rotted all of its roots. That's what happened. It's still living in moss. Also, this little vintage planter that I purchased from Etsy. I held on to this for a good while until I found like the perfect plant to put in it. And this campii needed up, needed up potted. So I kept it in moss because this doesn't have any drainage. It works out, it works out good, you know? Um, but this lives in my kitchen window, a south-facing window, and it is growing beautifully. This is the newest leaf, I guess, and we're pushing out another one. This plant is 
really a fun one because it just it doesn't look like philodendron it really reminds me of an anthurium it just doesn't look like a, a, a philodendron and the leaves get massive like look at that the leaves get really large i am a sucker for a textured leaf especially a large textured leaf yes 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 and i mean just look at that it's just so funky and unique looking i really like the sporadic growth pattern the way that it grows round and round right now you can definitely tell he's facing the, the the light so i need to probably turn the plant rotate it but i love growing it right there in my kitchen sink i love seeing it every day it does dry out really fast even though it's i've moved it up a little bit so it's nice i can just grab it water it set it back up we're all good yeah so this one's cool i'm glad that it rebounded from my mishaps uh and is doing is doing well now it's definitely a favorite there was just there was so many there is so many that i want to show you so it's not this isn't just like you know my top five my top seven this is just literally the majority of the plants that are growing really well so there's a lot of them let's do a big one look at her this my friends is philodendron summer glory i couldn't keep gloriosum happy but this summer glory is the easiest fastest growing plant ever look at that big new one coming in there is two plants in this pot um so we have another one over here here's the new leaf off of this one and there's another one coming in here and this is the new leaf off of wait yeah the newest leaf and whenever they come in they are this beautiful like deep orangey red color these ones are kind of hardening a bit so it's not a great example but yeah they're just beautiful and then over time they turn this like deep emeraldy green and it's just fantastic like i scored this from a lowe's i think for a really good deal and it had two plants in it so I it struggled a little bit because it had spider mites and I'm not 100% sure what all was going on I repotted it into a bigger pot and better soil it has been doing great ever since and just growing 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 so some of the older leaves do a little look a little disheveled maybe or you know like they've been through some things but all in all it is very easy very beautiful like such a rewarding plant. If you've struggled with philodendron gloriosum and like other gloriosum hybrids, try the summer's glory because I'm telling you, it's night and day, the difference. Like look at that. This is, I'm having a hard time <laughs> remembering because I no longer have the label in it. Um, if this is Anthurium radicans or if it's radicans crossed with luxuriums. For some reason, I think it's just the radicans. I got it as obviously a little starter plant and it also has recently been repotted. It's been growing like crazy. You can see it was in a really small pot before all of the foliage was just crammed together because it was putting out three leaves at one time this last time. Three at once. So this one right here is the newest along with this one you can tell the ones that are like slightly different color we do have a yellow one down here um like this is an old leaf you know so basically all of this growth is pretty much new but three of them are brand new like it put out at the same time and i just was in awe look how gorgeous that leaf is i lost my luxurians a long time ago and i would like to replace it now the prices are a little bit better at the leaf on the radicans and luxurians let's be real it's just gorgeous look as i said earlier about the texture that textured leaf it's so nice and that orangey brassy orange color that they come in as this one i am so excited about i oh i'm so in love with this plant right now it's my philodendron dark lord and he lives in my bathroom this is really the only plant that lives in my bathroom because there's no windows, but we have these really bright fluorescent bulbs right above our mirror um, on the sink. And it's just like the perfect amount of light 
the plant loves it. It's this is like its fifth leaf that it's given me since I moved it in there maybe three months ago. Um, yeah, it's growing so fast, so well. And then I just grab it, stick it in the shower, hose it down, give it a water. Uh, this was an import from Aeroid Market or Aeroid Asia. I cannot remember at the moment. Like maybe three years ago. I don't know. It's been a few years ago now. It did struggle with root rot a couple of times. Most of my plants that I've had for any amount of time have struggled with root rot and had to be started. Had I've had to start them over. Like that's just what it is as a plant parent who's also a mom and you know all the all the good things i just think it looks so majestic and just dark and beautiful like i love having this right there on my bathroom sink when i'm getting ready do my makeup brush my teeth wash my face like i love it i love it and it's only one plant and it's like tall and slim so it doesn't take up a ton of space it, it just sits there looking beautiful it's not in the way Listen, I love having plants all over my house, all over my house, and I love having plants in my bathroom. So the fact that I can keep that with just like artificial lighting alone, oh yeah, I'm very proud of this plant. He is getting a little leggy down here at the bottom, and you can like look at this leaf. It's barely hanging on at this point. I mean, honestly, uh, this one's a little jacked up, but for the most part, it's not too shabby. Eventually, I will chop him, maybe do a couple chops and, you know, propagate all the cuttings back together in the pot to have it more full. But I honestly like the way that it's looking right now. I just have it supported with this bamboo stake. Awesome plant, awesome grower, very easy, uh, very tough as well, especially in terms of like pests. Don't really deal with any. It's had spider mites. It used to have them a lot when it lived with the rest of my spider mite magnet plants, but now it doesn't get anything. The spider mites don't affect this plant like they do some of my other philodendrons. So I just, oh yes, you need a Dark Lord philodendron. If you've ever questioned it, please do yourself a favor. All right, this is actually, look how pretty first of all. So gorgeous. Um, this is my Polonia Repens. So, I definitely have to get some really good B-roll of this gorgeous beauty to put on the screen and all of the new growth. The new growth is my favorite. The new leaves and vines are just, like, they really stand out on this plant. So, I had never grown this plant before. This is my first Polonia. I think I first seen this plant and, like, kind of got a little crush on it on, um, what is her name? Shit. Sharina, I'll put her channel up here. I, guys, my brain, I'm telling you, I've not watched plant, much plant tube in a while. Anyways, I used to watch her channel a lot. She has a great channel, great personality. And she had one of these that she just like raved about and she would show it. And I just thought it was the most beautiful thing. And yeah, they're not expensive. They're not like rare or uncommon. They're, you can get like a really nice full lush hanging basket of the polonia repens very easily i just never did i don't know but this was a plant that i always told myself if i ever see it like in person uh, at a shop or a big box store i will 100 percent pick it up and i never seen that but she does need a potted as well but i have to order some more hanging baskets in like bigger sizes because i have several hanging hanging plants that need repotted but I don't have any larger hanging baskets to put them in and I really want them to hang and trail. So she also lives in my kitchen south facing window. Probably a little bit intense for this plant, but there is a big giant tree tree out front blocking some of the sun. So but yeah, you can imagine it dries out really quick and that's the only issue I have. If I let it dry out too much, it'll it'll wilt and it'll start crisping leaves, but it always bounces back for me. Again, it's right there at my kitchen sink where I can just grab it and water but it is just beautiful i truly believe it's an underrated house plant i mean it, there's just so much going on with it the leaves are just so like pretty like that's the only word that i know to to truly describe it they're just so pretty and colorful and unique like each leaf is different each marking is different all of the new growth coming in all over the pot with that super intense 
dark um what color is it? it it almost looks black almost looks black and that in contrast with the green and the shape of the leaf and just everything it just makes for such a beautiful uh statement plant in my opinion definitely wanted to dote on this one for a moment because i just think it's fantastic and i rarely ever see it talked about or uh you know shown so we gotta stop sleeping on uh, this plant because she pretty. She very pretty. I knew I would love it when I seen it in uh, someone else's collection, but when I brought it home and I started to actually grow it, I just have really taken a liking to it and uh, fallen in love. So that's all. That's all. Moving right along. This, you guys, look how pretty my Maranta. I have several Maranta. And I'm loving them all right now, honestly. But this one is just like, oh, doing it for me. So it lives right here on the stand, right? Like basically up against my Ikea cabinet. And it's getting the lights coming down from my grow lights in my cabinet and right on it. And look at that. Now, this is actually my variegated rabbit's foot Maranta. Believe it or not, which I have had for like five or six years, I think. Hold on. There's a pup down here where you can still see the variegation. I have never had an issue with this plant really reverting, but since it's been getting all of this light, I've noticed the variegation just disappeared on all of the leaves. I'm like, what the heck? They're beautiful. So like, it's okay. But, uh, so I'm wondering, cause we know that light very much affects variegation. I'm wondering if it's too much light for the plant and that's causing it to go all green. It is so pretty though. But yeah, so the baby isn't getting as much light because it's obviously blocked by the mother and it's still variegated. So that just has me wondering. So I might try to move it a little bit away from that light and see if I can get some of the variegation back because I do love the variegation on this. It's like white and creamy and pink and yeah, it's it's great. Do you think it looks so nice? And there's new leaves coming in everywhere. It's just growing like mad. Um, I think it looks so nice right now. Uh, ignore the remainder of the pot being empty. Okay, she's a little bald. It's fine. But she's so pretty. She can eat. She, we don't mind. Next is going to be this gorgeous Hoya. Look at her. Oh my goodness. This is, hold on, Hoya Crespetti Olada. Crespetti Olada. Yep. <laughs> and as you can see, she is going wild. Uh, again, I need to up pot her this spring. Got to get her a bigger basket, but she is shooting out vines all over the place. I mean, look at that. Um, I would love to get this Hoya to bloom, but in the meantime, we just have so much new growth happening all over this plant, truly. Um, it is a sight to see. Yeah, there's just constantly multiple new leaves coming in everywhere and they're so cute when they come in, super dark and veiny. And I love it, like, check that out. And then, you know, they grow in and they lighten up in color, but they still keep these super deep, dark veins. Oh, that's like, that's my type of Hoya. Large leaves, veiny fast growing. That's my type of Hoya. I am really working on trying to get my Hoyas to bloom. I've only had a couple, a couple different Hoya ever bloom for me and I've been struggling and I'm not sure why, but I'm trying lots of different like bloom fertilizers, different lighting, watering schedules, you name it. I am trying it. Uh, because I really would like to get some blooms on some of these guys. This is Philodendron White Wizard. But I will be honest with you guys, I have struggled with like the White Wizard, the White Knight, all of those white variegated like thick leaf, like pink princessy types of plants. I find to be difficult, I find that they need a lot of humidity and super regular watering or their leaves just start coming in. And even sometimes with those things, the leaves will still come in like super tiny and gimped and uh, distorted, crinkled, weird coloration. But this one I actually found at a Walmart and I brought it home and it's honestly like it struggled a little bit. There is two more pups down in 
the pot here that are also doing good and growing well. That cute little leaf. But this is the new leaf here on the mother plant. Look how nice that looks. I was really shocked to see that. And the last two leaves, like this one, you can see it's a little bit messed up. Not too shabby. This one looks pretty good. It looks really good. Not a ton of irrigation, but it looks nice. And then this new one, it seems like it, the plant seems like it's finally getting its stuff together. And it's going to give me some nice, normal new growth. So uh, maybe it can be an established plant eventually and I love that it has two little pups growing up down here to help like with fullness of the plant because this is definitely one unlike my dark lord that I wouldn't want to get super tall and, and slender I prefer this plant to be more small and lush and full so we're on a good path uh -huh. I'm very happy to see that new leaf and yeah I was at a point where I'm like I don't think I like these plants um, these types of philodendron and I'm probably never gonna try to grow them again like I almost got rid of this one a few different times after I first got it because it wasn't in the greatest health from Walmart and then I've repotted it and I've just been you know I released all my good bugs and stuff and I've been really taking care of my plants lately and um, this one took me by surprise so philodendron white wizard gorgeous hi it's a couple days later and we're gonna jump right back into Plant updates, my fate, current favorite plants, whatever we decide to title this, okay? Y'all, I was fortunate enough to score this beautiful plant last year for, I believe it was like 28 doll hairs I got this plant for last year. And that is amazing to me. Um, now it has grown a ton. I could not begin to tell you how many leaves it's given me since I got it. It was large when I unboxed it, but you would have to go back and look at that video um probably from like here up is all new growth so it is an extremely fast grower i mean it just put out this leaf not too long ago i guess it's hardened off it's slowed down just ever so slightly over the last like probably four to six weeks but here's the new leaf busting out um the leaves are sizing up really nicely they're keeping their size but yeah i have noticed over the last four to six weeks it slowed down its growth a bit but it definitely needs up potted very severely and it's all like leaning. It's very heavy. So I have a really nice uh, pink planter that's uh, bigger than this, obviously. But I'm getting ready to move this guy up to. And I'm going to give him something for support, a pole or something of that nature. I just think it's going to look so much better and probably do so much better. Maybe the leaves will get even larger after that. But incredible plant. I am just so thrilled that I found this for the price that I found it and that it's such an amazing plant. And yeah, I didn't know I needed this plant until I got it, honestly. All right, y'all, this is a big one. I have not picked this plant up in quite a long time. Oh my gosh. Hopefully there's no creepy crawlies anywhere. Holy crap. Wait till you see that. Wow, okay, this is amazing. I can't wait to show you that. I'm just noticing. This beast is Philodendron Gigantium. This is my green form. I also have a massive variegated one as well, but this one just absolutely keeps me blown away. It never ceases to amaze me, y'all. Look at that new leaf and how large it is. Never ceases to amaze me. There's, oh my gosh, Two main, two main plants in this pot, and then it looks like two or three pups as well. Um, the leaves just keep getting larger and larger and larger. Like, look at this. The size of my head. That next biggest one, oh my gosh, I can't even, like, fathom how big that's going to be. This is constantly shooting out multiple new leaves at a time. Like, it has one, two at least two three other growth points with new leaves coming in right now so yeah safe to say he is very happy i do have him on this pole filled with coca core and perlite it's basically like a very very thick chunky soil mix and you guys look what i just noticed can you see these roots 
And they go all the way up. All the way to right here. That's crazy. They're aerial roots and they're coming from what I can tell from right here. These aerial roots sunk into um, this mix and have grown all the way up. That's incredible. Like how freaking cool is that? Extremely proud of this plant. I love it. I just think it's so beautiful. These giant glossy shiny leaves like this is the one of the newest ones right here, and I'm like obsessed with it. It's so good. Yeah, Philodendron Gigantium Green. Highly recommend. Super easy, super tough and resilient, and um, yeah, right up my alley for sure. I want to show you guys my variegated one, but Philodendron Politiflorum. Wow, wow, wow. Look at him. Phenomenal. He's everything. That's who I put in my new planter, one of my new planters. He's like too large to even have in frame. This was his newest leaf right here. It's the largest and longest on the plant. Also, we have an inflow right here, which I'm probably gonna remove. Yeah, I just recently up potted this guy. And then it looks like there's another inflow coming out of this stem right here and the brand new leaf right here hasn't fully unfurled itself yet look how cute they come in so teeny tiny and then they get larger and larger and larger and it's just so fun because you never know for sure how large the leaf is going to get so it's really fun to come by every day and check so politiflorum is doing phenomenal looking real real cute in his new pot this is anthurium pendens my other strappy anthurium similar to politiflorum but not quite as breathtaking i guess you could say this is a more affordable and obtainable version of politiflorum i would say like if you want a strappy anthurium like the tarfolium or the politiflorum the pendens is quite inexpensive this one kind of its growth was a little bit stunted over the winter winter it wasn't growing too much and then finally it shot off this new leaf i believe right here no yeah and the last one that it gave me was like really short and stubby so i was like hmm what's that about i don't know if this one's done fully growing in yet that cannot be the newest leaf i don't think that's the newest one hold on I think it's this one. This is the newest one. Okay. So with this one, I was really happy with the upsizing compared to this one and like some of the other previous leaves it gave me. And I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure if this leaf's done growing, but I think maybe it is. It's grown. The last time I checked, it was like two days ago and it's grown since then. So, but yeah, it's really cute. I really like this pot that it's in. I just think it's super funky and kind of all over the place and I love it. I love strappy plants, uh, strappy anthurium, strappy philodendron. I am all about it. Pendens, very proud of this plant as well. Briefly, these next three everybody already knows are my favorites. They're always my favorites. They will always be my favorites. So I'm just going to skim over them quickly and give you a a brief little update. My Philodendron Florida Ghost has been with me a long while. I adore this plant. I love, love, love it. And it's just such a fantastic, quick, fast growing plant. It's tough as nails. It's hardy. Um, it's easy. It's just, it's everything. And it's starting to grow off of its pole now, as we can see. But this was the newest leaf here. We have another new leaf about to make it to the end. It never stops growing. Um, and I love it. So here's a little update on my Philodendron Florida Ghost. Similar to Florida Ghost is his brother, sister, Philodendron Florida Beauty. Again, this was my dream plant for so many years, y'all. And now I've had it for a couple of years and I'm absolutely infatuated. It never gets old. Another super easy one. It grows not as fast as the Ghost, but really fast, okay? Really steady growth. Again, pretty hardy, pretty tough. You never know what 
the leaf is going to look like. Like they're all so different, but so gorgeous. This is the most green leaf on the plant right here. All, all of the leaves are gorgeous. And then I got this nearly all white leaf, which threw me for a loop. This one seems to have really good stable genetics. So it doesn't put out too much green or too much variegation. It's like the perfect mix. And I greatly appreciate that. Here's the newest leaf. And then the next to newest right beside of it. Both of them are incredible. <laughs> Wonderful examples of the type of variegation that this plant produces. This newest leaf though absolutely took my breath, you guys. Like look at that. It's almost a perfect uh, half moon. It is so, so good. So pretty. I, it keeps catching my eye every time I walk in to my plant room. So yeah, philodendron, Florida beauty, forever a favorite. Just yet again, another little update. That leaf is everything, is it not? Another oldie that I've had for a long time, grown out from a little babe, my philodendron, Jose Bueno. This guy tried to burn on me at our last home because it wasn't getting enough light. I still loved it though. The, when this plant is even all green, it is incredibly beautiful. I moved here and now it's giving me some variegation again, which I think is super cool. I'm happy with it. Like, look at that leaf. On the Jose Bueno, the variegation, like once the leaves get a little bit of age to them, um, it kind of like fades a little bit, but still gorgeous. gorgeous. Newest leaf right here. We have another one coming in right there. This is the probably the fastest growing philodendron. I don't know if I can say that. This is one of the fastest growing plants in philodendron that I have in my entire collection. It's just, it grows like you would not believe. It's perfect. It's pretty variegated leaf. I mean, it's just perfect. Like, look at him. He's everything. The plant does need a water, so I'm going to take it in my, into my sink and water it. So he's a little floppy, but, ah, oh, amazes me. Okay, guys, I'm absolutely burning up. It's so hot and humid in the plant room. There's so many more plants. I would love to show you. There's so much going on, but I will save those for another video. We would be here literally all night if I showed you every single plant that I want to show you. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye. Bye.